everybody, my name is Nakaya Pratt. Today's topic is going to be Illuminati secrets. What secrets? Camera time. They gotta have that camera time. I don't know what it is. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel, Jesus Wants You. I'm Nikki Pratt. That was uh, the little mini-me, Nakaya Pratt. She wanted to start the show today, okay? So, with that said, we're going to get right into it. I hope you guys have brought your Bibles. I brought my raggedy Bible, but it still works. The Word's still good. Um, bring it on about. I have to first um, welcome everybody to my channel, and a uh, special thanks to... Um, Anthony McDonald, who have brought us uh, some things to my attention. I've had it for about three weeks, which reminds me, I gotta pause this video. Hold on, guys. Okay, I'm back. All right, I hope you got your Bibles. Turn quickly with me to the book of Second Peter, chapter three. I'm going to be reading from verses three through seven. And verses 17 through 18. So, here we go. Second Peter chapter 3, verses 3 through 7. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lust, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this day willingly or ignorant of, not stupid, but just willingly don't want to know, okay, that by the word of God, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished, verse 7, but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Perdition of ungodly men. Notice that the first few scriptures um, in verse 5 and 6, it dealt with the water when the earth was first judged. You got to know it is going to be judged the second time. And you just we just read it there with fire. Mm-hmm. Uh, they finally going to get what they've been waiting for. Global warming. It's going to be a global warming like the world ain't never seen before. Believe that. Okay. Now, verse 17. Same chapter, chapter 3. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, beware lest ye also, being led away with the error of the wicked, fall from your own steadfastness. Verse 18, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory, both now and forever. Amen. All right. Okay, Illuminati secrets. As my little girl said, what secrets? Because it's generally not a secret anymore. Oh, no, it's not a secret anymore. Um... Let me show you some Illuminati attire that has come out, actually been out for a while. It's no longer a secret. Okay, we got the Illuminati wear. This is all put out and all dilly-dallied up by none other than Jay-Z. The name of the Illuminati apparel, clothing, and fashion line, Zazzle.com. Z, for uh, Jay-Z, he has Zazzle.com, and he also has Zuluminati. Yeah. Here's more of the apparel. See the all-seen eye? This one says, like, no Illuminati, like it's anti-Illuminati. It says it. Anti-Illuminati. That's not anti-Illuminati. You're still wearing the symbol. I know it says that, but sacred, I mean, I'm sorry, Satan is tricky. You're still wearing that symbol. I'm just saying. 
Freemasonry. Look at this. The all seen eye at the bottom. Plain as day, you guys. Lucifer. There's the Masonic symbol. The same symbol that we saw when me and uh, Star and Mama Victoria went to go do, and Brenda went to go do World Vision Day. It's plastered over that place. Mm -hmm. Here's another one. Pay attention to this. The all seen eye and then the checkerboard. Black and white. You'll see a lot of commercials and uh, movie premieres when they're coming out. They have that checkerboard floor showing their allegiance to the Illuminati. Oh yeah, the eye, the clothing. I'm seeing it on. Ev I'm seeing it everywhere. It says ban chemtrails. This is another one. The pyramid, the all-seen eye. It's in commercials, TV shows, cartoons. Believe it or not. Don't trust anyone. That that one says. Alright. <laughs> this one says, Don't let the eye fool the mind. Illuminati t-shirts. Look at this. The eye. Don't let the Illuminati fool the mind. Really? You better hope you're covered by the blood of Jesus. Freemasonry, all of it is the same. It's all connected, you guys. All connected. They they have their own clothes, earrings, apparel, you name it. This one says sodium fluoride poisoning your tap water since 1945. How blunt and blatant is that? You walk around with some like that? Believe it or not, some are. Oh, yeah. And you got to love, love this one. The global elite. The new world order. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This one even says new world order. It's no longer a secret. It's no longer a secret. This t-shirt here at the bottom says Illuminati exists. Right here. Wow. One with the alien. Yeah, they're going to start that probably soon. It's crazy. This t-shirt here says, keep the people distracted. Orders of the elite. Sure is. Kind of what's like going on right now with the um, Ferguson and all that. Harp, playing human roulette since 1990. See the little puppet-like things? It's no longer a secret, guys. It is no longer a secret. Don't worry, this one says. We're watching. Oh, yeah, they're watching. All right. Most of these you have already seen. This double-headed eagle. See, whatever Satan, God does, Satan likes to mimic. He has the double head. That's masonry. Freemasonry symbols. That's what they love. This one says, Puppet of the Illuminati. Illuminati. Puppet of the Illuminati down here. Wow. Blatant. In your face. The Eye of Horus. Okay, that's all the photos. Now, on my way from work Wednesday, I saw this car. Driving around on the front of the plate in the front of the car was the big Eye of Horus. I mean, it's like everywhere. And I have seen more masonic symbols i saw a guy i guess you know they get into different levels and that degree stuff and masonic symbols all along the back of the truck i mean just it's blatant blatant okay um for those of us who know the occult and the illuminati very well we know about it okay if you don't know about it you want to be willfully willfully ignorant, meaning you just 
don't want to hear about it, don't want to know. You know, the Bible speaks to that. In the last days, people want to be just willfully ignorant. Oh, I don't want to hear it. Oh, I don't want to see it. It's time to open your eyes, people. Time to open your eyes. Okay, the feature stands out above all others is the all-seeing eye. The symbol is the single most important symbol of the Illuminati. For it exemplifies the supernatural power they willed from their Lord, Lucifer, from Satan himself. As you can see from the symbol on the back of our $1 bill, the typical all-seeing eye is depicted in the form of a pyramid. And I have shown plenty of those. Okay, the pyramid is hovering over the unfinished pyramid representative of the unfinished project of moving in the world into the new world order, staging their Masonic Christ. Okay, since the all seeing eye represents the Egyptian Osiris, let's look at who Osiris is. He committed incest with his sister Isis, which resulted in birth of Horus, the Egyptian god of the dead, as well as the sun god, okay? Osiris, or Osiris, is known by many other names in other countries, in Thrace and Greece. He is known as Dionysus, the god of pleasures and partying and wine. Wow, that's kind of <laughs> kind of odd. There's a scripture that says in the last days they still will be partying and getting married. and mm -hmm. Festivals held in Dionysus' honor often resulted in human sacrifices and orgastic sexual rites. The Phrygians know Osiris and the Sabiasis were where he is honored as the solar de deity, a sun god who was represented by horns and his emblem was a serpent. Wow. In other places, he is known by other names. Doesis, the boy Jupiter, the centaur, Orion, Saturn, the boy Plutus, Iswara, the winged one, Nimrod, Adani, Hermes, Prometheus, uh, Poseidon, Buddhas, Dardanus, Embors, Asias, Zeus, and many other names that I can't pronounce. <laughs> but none other, all these little gods, and believe it or not, represent the uh, god, the little G god, Baal, or Baal, however you pronounce it, B-A-A-L. The one that is spoken of in the Bible. Okay? This all seeing eye represents the demonic God. The little G God. The B-A-A-L. The Baal. Whose worship was condemned by God in no uncertain terms. Okay? You can read about that for time's sake of this video. Jeremiah chapter 19 verse 5. Verse 32, I'm sorry, chapter 32, verse 35. Okay, he was totally against this Baal worship. It is a form of idolatry. It is what people are being seductively led into. I will offer you the world. All you got to do is accept and worship unknowingly no not unknowingly because make no mistake about it everybody should know by now if you don't know you you've been willfully ignorant it is no secret no more okay turn quickly to the book of revelation chapter 13 verse 16 and 17 revelation for those of you who don't know it's in the very back of your last book of the bible Verse 16 and 17, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might 
buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Um, I was also, okay, um, if you skip up to verse 8, and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Wow. Uh, verse 15, and he had power to give life unto the image of, the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Mm -hmm. This is a form of worship, worshiping the image of the beast. If you're walking around with this foolishness on, um, and that's exactly what it is, it's foolishness, okay? Now, let me tell you a little story. So, Anthony sent me these videos, right? And I'm looking at it. Neither one of my twins was at home, okay? My oldest daughter has her own apartment. And I had just, I mean, just stopped watching the video. And I turn around in the kitchen about this Illuminati stuff, right? And, and the clothing and the attire, uh, I just remind myself, I'll do another video on this owl, all right? But anyway, I'm missing some more information. I just thought about it. Okay, so I turn around. Why my my twins come through the door with this on? You see that? That's a big, huge owl. Owl, okay? Sound like I'm saying it funny or something. On the back, it says Drake, okay? Oh, they, they twins. You know, they want to do the twin thing. They have the song. So when they came in, my mouth was wide open. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you talking about? Oh, you talking about our shirt. She says this. Oh, I mean, I know it's bad, but I didn't have anything to put on. But I know it's bad, but I still wear it. What? I can't even, I can't even hardly remember what she said. But it basically went like this. It basically says this. Even though I know it's bad, I'm going to still, I just put it on for right now. I mean, it's not hurting anything because I'm just putting it on for right now. Um, no, no, and no. When you wearing, if I wore a Dallas Cowboy shirt, I'm showing allegiance to the Dallas Cowboys. I can't say, oh no, I don't represent Dallas Cowboys and walk around with the shirt on. Obviously you do, right? Right. So anyway, long story short, they took it off. This owl goes way deep. These Roman numerals right here goes way deep. This is Drake mess oh they done found out about drake see i tried to tell them about that two years ago they ain't want to hear it oh they had to listen to it now you can't pay them a million dollars to listen to it or look at the video now mm -hmm. the mind has been open yeah but anyway they come in my house with this foolishness and i told them to take it off i wish i could remember what she said it almost sound like somebody that you, you you know you would try to tell something they, they just didn't see it yet crazy okay but um i'm gonna do the story about that out in the next video because I, I did leave that information out you're probably saying now well nikki i didn't know you know um i just didn't know well you should know now because you're watching me and i'm telling you about it and you're watching, okay? Well, Nikki, if uh, Jesus come back and I'm wearing this and the rapture come, I mean, I won't be left behind. Really? Really? How do you know that? Really? Because um, Hosea chapter 4 and 6 says, My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. 
lack of knowledge. Isaiah 5 and 13 says, My people have gone in captivity because they have no knowledge. You better have this word being able to stand in this evil day. This is the evil day. Having done all to stand. In the, in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 is where you find that scripture. What I'm saying right now. You better put on your whole armor of God. Okay? Of God. You better put on the whole armor. You better have this word. We cannot be lukewarm. I'm learning every day. I can't be lukewarm. I got to read, 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 read more of my, my Bible. Okay? I was watching recently the old movie Drumline with Nick Cannon. Remember that old movie Drumline and had um, uh, Nick Cannon and some other people in there? The Illuminati graffiti was on the mural on the wall in, in the drum room. The Egyptians, the all-seen eye, the pyramids, the one eye. I mean, I was like, and I had watched it before. I didn't see it. But this particular time I watched it, I saw it. Okay? Even back then, there was subliminally, they were subliminally adding it and conditioning the mind to accept and receive this Illuminati stuff so it all can be worked in. Wednesday, on my way home, somebody, and I told you about that, somebody had that all C&I on their car. The Illuminati secret society. It was a secret. It is no longer a secret. Okay. Um, I was a Dallas Cowboy football fan. I recently denounced my allegiance with the football team. Let me tell you why. I hadn't watched the last three games except for this past Sunday when when, when I did watch it. Last week, Des Bryant threw up that sign like three times. I was like, did he did he just do that? No, I'm saying something. He didn't just do that. And he did it again. And then he did another sign. I went, nope, that's Illuminati all day long. They won the game. Okay, he looks into the camera. That's what they all do. They have to do it when they're in allegiance with this Illuminati. That was enough for me. And then I looked on YouTube. Sure enough, it was on the sports commentator channel. He signed with Jay-Z. Mm, 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 mm. Nope, can't have it. Nope. No. God wants to know who is on his side. Whose side are we on? He says we either love one or hate the other. And if you got to serve Satan to win a football team, you ain't no team of mine. I'm just saying. Unless Des Bryant be gone. No. I can care less whether they win or lose now. And they just lost. So how did... Uh, selling your soul to Satan working for you. That's what I want to know. You cannot serve God and mammon all at the same time. Obama urges China to be a partner in ensuring world order. Nicki Minaj did a video recently with the little Nazi symbol turned upside down. See, that's what Satan did, you know, to kind of get it in. She had the little Nazi symbol and then she had to flip it another way. Yeah, caused a big uproar. And then, let's talk about this video that has went viral. I've mentioned it in other videos. Um, mine didn't make it viral when I talked about it. I guess it wasn't big then. Now it is. But this one particular woman did a video about the monster drink. Okay? These three little, these numbers right here. Is a symbol of the Vav, V A V in Hebrew, which is the number six. Okay, six, six, six. All right, monster. Okay, everything that Satan does is upside down, twisted, backwards. But he gonna, he will mimic 
Anything that Christ does, okay? These letters, I can't draw it like it is on the can, but they're not co connected on the can, she describes. And it is so true, all right? Um, witchcraft is upside down, bottoms up. Okay, this monster in the O is a cross. And she, um, lose to say, she kept saying that when you turn that can upside down, this cross goes upside down, Satan laughs. So true. You got to have your spiritual eyes on to see this. And I have told recently somebody about this that was drinking a monster drink and was Christian. The lady was crazy. Not what I was trying to tell her about it. Because if I see somebody drinking it, I'm going to say the same thing what the lady said. You got to be blunt like Satan is being blunt these days. So I was like, you know what that really means. What you, you know what you're drinking? And it's just a drink lady, she says. Hey, she can't say I didn't tell her. That's all I'm saying. On the can, it says MILF. I won't go into detail. Some of you know what MILF is. MILFs dig it and you will too. Wow. Wow. Count. When when Jesus said, count the number of the beast. Whew, I, I got to freshen up on my mouth. He really meant count the number of the beast. When Harvest Army did that video about the computer equal out to 666. And, and, and for, with the alphabets, and I was, it took me three days to figure out how they come up with 666. They was using the number six. Each letter in the alphabet is, if you multiply it by six, A would be six, B would be 12, and so on and so forth. And you take the letters and you add it all up, whatever letter equal out to the number, and it comes out to, uh, came out to 666. Took me three days to figure it out. Literally, count the number of the beast. If you're like me, you're going to have to freshen up on your math, because Lord knows I do. I'm like, how they get that? Well, let me, three days, okay? There was also a demonic toy. Some host of demonic toys that's out, okay? The little girl went home, removed the little foil off this wand, and it was a little picture of a little girl cutting herself with a blade, bleeding everywhere. Really? Really? The store owner says they're not moving the toy. Okay? Um, a man got locked up. This is just like the Bible says in the last days. Evil will be good and good is evil. You had a 90-something-year-old man feeding homeless people. He got arrested for feeding the homeless, okay? Schools can't pray, okay? We already know that's kind of been going on. But they can learn about the Muslim faith and the satanic rituals and the symbols. Oh, yes, this is really going on in some of our kids' schools today. And... Uh, what I saw was very trickery. I mean, Satan is so clever. These little kids was learning the pillars and the different things of Allah. And they had to trace out stuff. But And also, as they traced it out, they had to recite that the Muslim God was the one true God. And had them to recite. How clever is that? My child would be snatched up out of that school so fast. And I had to have somebody's head. I'm going to tell you right now. Um, but yeah. They're making the kids learn meticulously this doctrine. Okay. <sighs> Satan's very crafty. Now. For this, this um, video. To prove to you. Illuminati. It's not a secret. Illuminati secret? What secret? It's not a secret anymore. Watch this. Some of you probably have already seen this. Where is your speaker?
That's Jim Carrey, by the way. Is that a gang sign that you, uh, oh, like you don't know what it is? You don't know what that is? I have no idea. You don't know. Jimmy Fallon doesn't know. David Letterman doesn't know. We don't know. All the comics and show business don't know what this is. Right? Yeah. What is it? Come on, Jimmy. Seriously, the time is up. People are hip to this kind of stuff. I, I'm here tonight to blow the lid off it, to be the whistleblower. I'm sick and tired of the secrets and the lies. It is the secret symbol of the Illuminati, and you're part of it. For years now, talk show hosts, people on television, people in sitcoms have been hired by the government to throw you off the track, to distract you, to make you laugh, and stuff like that, make you happy and docile, so you don't know what's really going on, you know? What you think about that? When I saw that, my mouth flew wide open. I mean... And did you hear the crowd? They, ah, ha, ha, ah, ha, ha, ah, ha. Really? This man is telling the truth. And they're laughing like he's telling a joke. It's no secret, just like he says. Satan is bold right now. He's coming out in big numbers. And so many people are wearing the attire, the watches. I mean... I showed you that sweatshirt of, uh, earlier about this owl, okay? And I hate I left that information on that owl. I'm going to do a video on it probably tomorrow, okay? But have you guys noticed, and I did videos on this before, if you've been watching me for a while, about this stupid owl. About how lately I noticed, beginning of the year, there were a lot of paganistic um, like ear earrings, Buddhas, crescent moons with the stars. Um, and, and you see it in places like Michael's and, and, um, uh, pottery stores. And speaking of pottery, the ceramic statues that you would set out in your yard, all owls, if you go to the Brookshire's grocery store, if you go to, they got a lot of your kids clothing with the owls on it. Oh, we haven't seen, when did that, okay, it ain't been no owls in the past. The beast is rising and so is his image, is what I'm saying. The owl is a form of his image. The all-seeing eye, everything that has to do with Illuminati, that's why I'm exposing it right now doing this video to let you guys know do not let your kids wear these owls don't do it they have them you see owls everywhere and if you you probably this is your first hearing it but i bet if you think about it you're like oh yeah you go to um hallmark mark stores anywhere there are owls everywhere necklaces watches um, stuff you put in your yard, your clothing, um, owl earrings. I mean, owls everywhere. How do you want to be found with Jesus when Jesus comes back? I don't want to be found with no wearing, look like I'm worshiping his image. And you might say, well, I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. Tell Jesus that when he come back. And you got that owl shirt on. Or you wearing that all seen eye. Or you wearing the Illuminati pyramid. Whose side are you on? That's what I'm saying. Whose side are you on? It sounds crazy. I know. But we can't be willfully ignorant either. We have to know Satan's very, just like the lady said, and, and that, that video, by the way, had 8 million views the first time, and over 3 million on YouTube, ain't no telling how many it have now. When say, when God has his hand on something, for instance, like the video I did about that major earthquake, I got over 100 and something videos on YouTube now. 
that one video has over 5,000 views. Explain that. All the rest of my videos don't have over 5,000 views, but that one does. A lot of you became one of my subscribers because you saw that particular video. The word is getting out. Okay. He said in the last days he would pour out his spirit upon all flesh. Do not let... I mean, nobody's promised tomorrow. Nobody. And you got to hope. You, I mean, you got to be prayed up. You got to be covered by the blood of Jesus to be able to um, have your eyes open. So you would, you would know. You would have discernment. So he can reveal things to you. He reveals things to his servants. The prophets. Okay? He reveals things to us. If you know about these things, don't, don't be like the mockers. The scriptures that I read at first. Where is Jesus and his coming? You know... And I know it's said that way in the Bible, naturally, that spiritually, naturally, they're saying, oh, Jesus ain't coming back. They always said that since the beginning of time. Well, you gotta know it's gonna end at some point. Everything has a beginning, has an ending. Period. It's gonna happen one day. You just want to make sure that you're on the right side when he comes back. We don't know when that is, but... The object of the game is to be ready. You don't believe in Christ? I mean, <laughs> like I always say, the, the, the biggest faith you have when you scratch that lottery ticket, you can use the same faith and uh, give yourself some assurance. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Well, you know. I'm going to end this video. It's 37 minutes long. Read in the description if you need to be. So you have not accepted Christ. Read in the description. I need you guys to do that. Get saved as soon as possible. Repent of your sins. Believe and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. And he raised from the dead. He died for your sins. And he died on that cross. And he was raised from the dead. Believe that today in your heart, in Jesus' name. See you guys next video. Thanks.